some your Easter cat. Oh, can you imagine that? Kitty, 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 kitty's on his way. <laughs> hey, everybody. Guess what time it is? It is time for Easter cat. Is it kitty? Or is he cat? The world will never know. <laughs> so, hi guys. How are you? My name is Artist Nicole. And as you guys already know, I am perfectly imperfect. And what I realized today while I was driving home was that, oh my God. Here, let me turn this light so I don't get you killed. You, so I don't look like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> Okay, so while I was driving home today from my adventure last night with my beautiful cousin Amy, uh, I realized that I double booked myself for today. So I have to broadcast Easter Cat early. However, okay, the beautiful part is you guys are going to be able to see the replay on um whenever whenever we're done with this you can get the whole replay if you didn't get the memo so you can do it anytime you want to it'll be on my facebook page oh yeah oh we still got a few of you some of you didn't get the memo well you know i just put it out there <laughs> so here you go guys here he is easter kitty easter kitty coming your way and you know what we have to say we have to say my mom yeah, mom out. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do with Easter Kitty, cause I have gotta go teach in math tonight. So I never used to teach in during the day. Um, the first thing we're gonna do with Easter Kitty, you guys are gonna pour your paints, okay? Now, if I go a little fast, remember replay is gonna be available with the uh, rewind feature later. Meow. Meow, meow. <laughs> okay, and I took the liberty of pouring your paints already so you guys can see what they look like. Now, what we have is, hello, Kelly Tool Sartan. And guess what, you guys? If I sneak and broadcast early, we beat the scammers. Yeah! <laughs> you don't like cats, you're allergic. That's all right, Jayon. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Okay, so, hi Brenda Hutchins. So, what we have today is we have a beautiful magenta, this color right here, we got a teaspoon of that. We've just got just a blip of yellow. We've got some light blue. You've got a, two piles of white. Look at those googly doogly eyeballs, okay? Now, one of those piles of white is gonna be your dirty caca white. And the other pile of white is going to stay your clean white. So when I say use your caca white, use the dirty one. Okay? We've got a dark green. And if you guys don't have a light green, I know. I look like the Easter Statue of Liberty. <laughs> if you don't have a light green, I'm going to help you guys make that later. Okay? Okay? And then all you need is the black. So two whites, dark green, light green, magenta, yellow, blue, and black. Okay? Black, black attack. Oh. <laughs> and without further ado, here you go. Here's another shot of the Easter kitty right up close. Okay? Here he is, my mom. And we are going to get started. Oh, yeah. Easter cat. So the first thing that you guys are going to do with Easter Cat, okay? For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Artist Nicole, and I am absolutely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And you know what? That is a beautiful thing. You know, I wake up every day singing songs. I can't help myself. So um, my rules are absolutely simple. When you guys are at home, you eat, you drink, you have a fabulous time, and that is it, okay? There's no right or wrong. Yes, you can have some brandy. I'll give you some, ready? <laughs> give you some energy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 
Um, and art is what makes your heart happy. That's simple. There's no right or wrong. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do the Easter cat. However, if you guys want to do something totally different, if that creative Easter bug jumps out of your wahoo and tells you, you got it, Sue, and then tells you, there you go, I wish I could. I'm going to the to the church tonight, so I probably won't be able to do that, Miss Sue. But, um... <laughs> you guys listen to it okay you want to put a little chicken in your egg you want to put a little easter bunny you want to put your grandmother hat with her teeth hanging out you go for it because art is what makes your heart happy okay and there is no right or wrong it's about putting your beauty on the wall so you let your creativity jump on through baby let it take you down to the other side you know what i'm saying all right, so the first thing we are going to do with Easter Cat, don't worry, I didn't cut off all my hair. It's just in this beautiful bonbon, right? It's a beautiful array of blues and pinks for Easter sitting underneath my Statue of Liberty crown, all right? So first thing you're going to do, you're going to pick up your big boy. And today, we are going to name our big boy the Peeps. And why are we going to name it the Peeps? Because you know those nasty peeps your mama used to get for you when you were little and you ate them, you really didn't like them? Well, this is going to be our peeps today. <laughs> Pull them apart, throw them against the wall. <laughs> so the first thing that we are going to do with our peeps, okay, is everybody is going to dick, dick, dick. Ooh. Everybody is going to dip their, <laughs> dip their peeps. In the, I'm sorry, give me a second. Dip their peeps in the light blue, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to create a line that goes just like this. All right? And that's going to separate your, <laughs> don't be, don't be, don't be digging it, okay? That's going to separate your bottom from the top. Okay, so this is your bottom and this is your top. All right, that's your kind of your horizon line. And then what we're going to do here, I'm going to pull this paint over here so I can be closer to you guys and I have to worry about it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to double dip. Okay, so one side of your peeps is going to be that light blue color. And the other side of your peeps is going to be this white color, okay? So light blue and white. And last week, I had the best time teaching you guys how to create that crazy sky for the Easter Bunny. So let's do it for Easter Kitty. Why not? All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this brush, okay? We got two colors. And you are going to simply... Go on the diagonal like this. All right? Look at that. I like this kind of this crazy Easter sky. It gives me the jujus. All right? So we're going to keep on going. You're going to go in your dirty white and your light blue. And we are going to paint all the way up from this line right here. Look at that. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, I think I just painted my face. That's okay. It's all right, nothing wrong with that, okay? And you are just going to keep on painting this sky until you absolutely love it. If you want a little more white in your sky, look at that. Hoopa doopa, all right? And when you guys are doing this, okay? When you guys are painting anything on your canvas, especially if you're new to painting, what most folks do, okay, is, unfortunately, well, thank you, Carolyn Mills guy, I like that. Um, so, I tried holding the canvas with my last painting. I liked it more. Good girl, Sue. You know, that's the fun part, is there's no prize for using an easel, you know? Um, there's no prize. Oftentimes when I teach little kids, it is so much easier. So remember this, mamas, for the littles to play them flat rather than trying to paint them on an easel, 
okay? So there, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with is right, all right? That's going to be your style. And you know me, I got too many ants in my pants to be able <laughs> to paint on an easel. <laughs> All right, you guys, so here we go. We're gonna keep on going, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the sky down to this blue line, okay? And if you go over the blue line, no worries, no worries. Don't you even worry about it, all right? We're gonna use a little bit of control here. Look at that, oop a doop a do. And there we go. Okay, and what I was telling you was, when you guys first start out, you tend to be a little aggressive with that brush. So maybe you sometimes have a hard time getting that paint on the canvas. That's all right, that's all right. It's a really good Rorschach test for me when I teach people live. Hey, hey thank you, baby. I did have it on, uh, I did have it on blinky blinky mode, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to give anybody seizures, Diane. <laughs> so I put it on this phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, don't you, Diane Sotel? Okay? So then what you guys are going to do, once you get this painted, just like that, you're going to paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. However, we never paint our bottom first because then you get a sticky bottom. And let me tell you what, nobody likes a sticky bottom. Except for me. Well, occasionally I do. Occasionally I do, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> okay, so here goes our top, our sides, and beautiful, there is the top of Easter Cat. Look at that. Ooh, it's exciting, isn't it? Now, if you want to add more blue, you simply take that old peep, right? Peep, peep, and you add more blue. If you want to add a little bit more white, watch this, okay? Very light touch and babochka. Look at that. Bring in the white. Nikki White fight fight, okay? And there you go. You can do whatever you want to that sky. You can add some pinks. You can add some greens. You can add some yellows. It's Easter. Go pastel. You know what I'm saying? Okay? And when you guys are all finished with your sky, what you're going to do is you're going to take your little peep and you're going to dip him in the bath water. Go give that peep a bath. Hopefully he's not going to melt with his marshmallow filling inside, okay? Now, the next thing that we are gonna do, we're gonna take our little peep, dry him off on our paper towels so we don't get the dripsies, because nobody likes the dripsies. No, no, no. <laughs> I know I don't like the dripsies, okay? And, <laughs> Never mind, I just had a thought. Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to take that peep again. All right? And this time, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you take that peep. You are going to double dip it with green, okay? The straight up green. The one that you put on your plate. Not the lighter green, but the darker green. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to come right below this blue line. Now, do not worry if you get a little blue in there, because that green machine is going to cover it up. Look at that. Yeehaw! Underlay, underlay. Hello, Joe Hill. How are you from Campbell River, Vancouver Island, British Columbia? How are you doing, beautiful? Yes, sir. It's morning time up there. Awesome. For us, it's about three in the afternoon and I'm broadcasting four hours early. I was thinking about you. <laughs> All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to finish painting the entire bottom of your canvas from left to right, just like this. Okay. You start at the 
I don't know what sign that is. Left or right? I don't know. I can't ever get that right. But anyways, here we go. And you're going to fill in this entire bottom with a very light coat of green. Okay? Can you see that? You don't have to worry about filling that in bright. All right? Just a light coat of green. Okay? Now, this is the thing, is if you guys catch this on the replay tonight when we were supposed to broadcast, you have to make sure that you leave me an incredible amount of messages because you know I'm going to read them all and smile. All right? <laughs> so you're going to pretend like I'm live and I'm talking to you, but leave me your messages tonight when you watch this, okay? So there's that. We brought that around the side. And we brought it around this side. And there you go. There's your entire background for this awesome painting. All right. You're going to take your little peep. You're going to put it in your bath water. And then you're going to grab that hair dryer. And now here it comes. We're going to call it, we're going to call it the Cadbury egg. Now, I don't know if you got Cadbury eggs in Canada, but let me tell you what. Oh, they are so yummy. <laughs> so it looks like we have 34 people because you guys didn't get the memo, but that's okay. You know what? You're going to get it tonight and that's all right. Because you're going to have all your stuff ready for Easter. And you can sit down with your kids and your family and paint Easter Kitty. Meow, meow. All right. So, we're going to grab that medium brush. Our little Cadbury egg. Thanks, Easter Bunny. And what you guys are going to do is we're going to draw out taking that beautiful magenta, that full-on magenta, and we're going to draw out our little Easter egg, okay? And this is the Easter egg that your kitty is gonna be sitting in, all right? So all I'm gonna have you do for now is shape out that egg, okay? We're gonna shape it out, that's all. And basically what it is, is it is the letter U, okay? We're going down below. Oh, thank you, Amaryllis. I love that name, sweet love. Uh, we're going to go down, like above the halfway point. So this is about, I would say, a little above half, okay? Where we start that letter U. And you're going to bring it all the way down into this beautiful green grass, okay? And there you go, look at that. You be you be you. <laughs> I enjoy you guys, Amaryllis. I love that name, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Okay? And then what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna take your little Cadbury egg 
and we're gonna come through here and you're not even thinking but you're gonna bring this down like this all right because we're going to have to put have to put a paw in there we'll bring this down like this all right bring her up so those are our two paw marks and this guy i think i'm gonna bring my egg up a little look at that okay so basically i'm shaping out the edge of that cracked egg just like this all right crack it good crack it good i like me a cracked egg how does that look that looks like fun huh that's right kitty says thank you for giving me an egg to sit in i noticed my bottom was a little wanky so we're gonna throw a little pink in there okay just like that there's your egg awesome now next thing we're gonna do you guys are gonna grab your little peep all right they got different color peeps and they got different flavors these days when i was a kid when i was a kid they were yellow they were yellow peeps marshmallow peeps with a little brown eye and a little yellow sugar <laughs> Hi, Karana Mia Amundi. How are you, gorgeous? Thank you for joining today. You got the memo. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right. And what you guys are going to do next is you're going to come in with that big old peep. And you, whoops, I just painted my phone. That's all right. As long as I didn't paint the camera, we're good. Right? There we go, and you're just going to paint in this entire egg, just like this. All right, just like this. Thank you, Easter Kitty. Oh, no, no, thank you. And when you're going to paint the bottom, make sure that you paint it in a motion like you're painting a rainbow, okay? Here we go, roundabout, roundabout. Just like this, just like you're painting that Kool-Aid smile. Okay, beautiful. Just like this. Doop, doop. There we go. And there is our gorgeous, amazing Easter egg for that kitty to sit in. Now, if it didn't cover the first time, okay? Hi, Debbie Moon. How are you, gorgeous? That's all right, Karini. You join me later, sweet pea. And if you joined late, honey, what you can do is you can watch the replay at 5 o'clock, and you can catch the whole thing, and you'll have a rewind feature. Have to watch the replay if there is one. Of course there is, Debbie Moon. <laughs> You're so welcome, love. Yes, the repeat play will be available immediately after on my Facebook page. So all you got to do is go to the event. You'll see it there waiting for you at 5 o'clock today. Unfortunately, Debbie, I double booked myself. So I'm going to be at a church tonight teaching a bunch of ladies a special Easter painting. However, girl, you're going to get Easter cat whenever you want it, okay? <laughs> Okay, so you guys wash off your big peep, dry them off so you don't get the dripsies. Now, the next thing I'm going to have you guys do is we're going to grab our Cadbury egg yet again, okay? Our medium brush. All right, thank you, Debbie. Oh my goodness, you're making my heart so happy today. Okay, so we're going to grab that medium brush. And what you guys are going to do next is you're going to come and you're going to uh, draw out your kitty. All right. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is here's the side of that kitty. Now, the kitty is going to be relatively small. Why do you ask? Well, because we've got to put the ears on the kitty and everything else. And if we draw the kitty too big, we're not going to have enough room for our Easter ears. All right, so here's the body of that cat. Right about here. Okay, not much higher up than that Easter egg edge. A little bit, but not too much. Okay, can you guys see that? 
So that's the body of your Easter cat, just there. All right? You're not going all the way to the edge on either side. All right, this is one side of the kitty, and here's the other. And then what you can do is you can go like this. Ooh. Okay, and carve around the edge of that Easter egg. Just like that. There. See that? Beautiful. Okay, and that is the body of your kitty right there. There's a body of your little mammal. Now, is it a kitty or is it a bunny? The world will never know. <laughs> I think I'm funny. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our kitty head. Now, the top of that head, okay, is right about here. Does it look like a normal kitty head? Heck no. Heck no. And the reason is because he's going to be wearing a set of ears. Okay, but I'm going to keep it easy for you. All right, and I'm going to draw just a round circle at first. Okay, so there you go. Can you guys see that? All that is is a round circle that's offset. You've got about two inches up here, and it looks like a round circle. Look at that. Look at that little Easter kitty head. Yes, my mouth. <laughs> okay, and then what you're going to do next is you're going to give this Easter kitty some cheeks like this. All right, there's one cheek. And we'll give him another cheek on the side. Okay, just like that. There we go. Cheeky, cheeky. Okay, so we took our round circle and we gave that kitty some cheeks. You know I like a good set of cheeks. <laughs> All right. Then what you guys are going to do next, you're going to take your... Either, well, either one, you can take your peep or your Cadbury egg, dry it off if it's in the paint water, and we're going to fill in the head, all black. Okay, just like this. Boom, bada, boom, bada, we getting her done. Okay. There's that, you're going to be really careful. Not to get that little bugger in your egg. Okay, whoop. There we go. You said, but Nicole, it doesn't look like a kitty. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right, there you go. How did you make the green? So, Kamunde, uh, Kara, Kara, Mia. Karamia, all I did for this particular green, honey, was I used just my commercial green. I didn't mix it with anything, and I took my paint and left to right, honey. I took that green paint just like this, sweet pea, and um, all you want to do is put a nice light coat on there, okay? Just a nice light coat, and I'll show you why. Because... In the end, one of the last steps that we're going to do is we're going to bring in all this grass. So you don't have to worry about this, okay, honey? We're going to bring in this grass and these flowers, my love. All right, so just a nice flat white coat right across the way. Hello, Lisa Mar. How you doing, girl? That's right. Whoa, whoops. Easter kid is falling off the uh, table. Not a kitty. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next 
is you're going to grab your amazing, oh, looks like I ran out of those. Grab your amazing uh, Cadbury egg, your medium brush. Okay, hi, Lisa Marn. Hello to all your babies over there. I know you've got lots of babies, so Easter time must be pretty exciting in your house. All right? And what we're going to do next is I'm going to have you guys bring in the back of that egg. All right? Just like this. So we're not filling in the whole circle, but we are filling in the back of the egg. So from the back of the cat, just like this, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna come on the back of the kitty, come around and we're gonna bring in the back of that egg. Can you see that? Just like this. All right, see that? Ooh, yes. Kitty and an egg and a wound, a cricket. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Okay, and now what I am going to have you guys do next is we are, let's see here, what are we going to do next? Hmm. Bum, bada, bum, bada, bum, bada, bum. All right, I know what we're gonna do. Okay, so what you guys are gonna do next is you're going to wash off that Cadbury egg because guess what time it is? It is time to shape out our Easter bunny ears. Oh my goodness, already? Yep, already. All right, now for this, you guys are gonna use your clean white. Remember I said we had a dirty white and a clean white? Well, for the ears, you're gonna use your clean white, okay? And what you're gonna do is, you got the clean white on that beautiful Cadbury egg, and you're going to put a nice white line above the top of the kitty's head, okay? On the flat part of that kitty's head just like this. Now, if you happen, because I know your black is still wet, so if you get it in the black, okay, make sure that you wash off that brush because we don't want gray kitty ears. You know what I'm saying? No siree. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna have you do right now is dry off that cat head so that we don't get any gray in our ears. So, take your hair dryer and you dry off that little mau mau hair. Just like this. Mau mau kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. There we go. We've got that white line above his head. You guys are going to take your brush, all right, your same brush, and what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, woo, like this. You guys are going to go on the outside of that egg, just like this. A long line that goes down past the egg. Okay, can you guys see that? Yeah, you can. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be a nice little bunny here. <laughs> There's number one. And then I'm going to have you do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're going to come in like this. And we're going to go out like this, and this time, hey, maybe you'll get in the egg, that's okay. We don't want them to go too far out because that will look bizarre. All right, look at that. Right there, 
hiding that little bunny egg? Okay, there's side, there's side number one, and here's side number two. Number one, and number two. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is you're going to come on top of that head, but you are just going to put a line right here. Okay, see that? Just right there. We're not going to go all the way to the edge of that helmet. We're just going from here to here. Here to here. <laughs> okay. And what you guys are going to do next is you are going to, we're going to bring these ears up a little bit on this side and on this side. Okay. They're going to go about as tall as that line that you just made. Can you guys see that? About as tall as that line that you just made. All right, now here comes the fun part, everybody. We're gonna go out like this, woo, woo, see that? Just like that. We're shooting out, and then we're gonna come around town and go down to the edge of that ear. So we shoot out, and then we come around to the edge of the ear. Can you see that? There's number one. So we bring it up shoot out and then bring it down to the tip you got it you got it okay we're going to do the same thing on the other side we're going to shoot out from the edge of that side we're going to bring her down Woo -wee, just like this and then we're going to bring it to the tip Woo! Easter Kitty, here you come. That's right, Easter Kitty. You won't tell him. All right, and there you go, guys. There is the ears for your Easter Kitty. Okay, I know you're wicked excited. I know I am. This one kind of looks like a like a, the uh, ugly carrot. <laughs> you know that carrot you get in the package? You're like... Hmm, do I want to eat it? <laughs> Please show. Okay, what would you like me to show, Caramunda? A Cara, Cara me I. Um, do you want to see this, honey? Okay, or do you need to see this? Please. Okay. Um please okay so this honey is the final product no you want to see this oh you want to see me do the ears again yes i don't know what that means okay so here we go i'm going to show you again how we carved out those ears okay so the first thing we did we did this little thing on top of his head do you remember so the first thing we did was we did this little line on top of his head. And then what we did was we came down and we made this line, just like that, on that side. And then we did the same thing on the other side. We made a line that went down just like this, okay? So we did it on one side and then the other side. And then we bought white from here to here. But this white line 
is not as long as the entire line that was on his hat. So it was about this short on this side and then on this side. Okay? <laughs> I'm glad you found me, honey. The repeat play will be available to everybody afterward, too. So if you can't keep up, that's okay because the replay is going to be available to you guys and you can hit the pause button if you need to. Then, Kara Monday, what I did, honey, was I went like this. I brought this line from that short line out like this. I extended the ear line so it went up to here. Okay, so you see how you did the green. Oh, okay, she wants to see how you did the green green the green uh, I just took green and I went back and forth just like this honey yeah just like this okay all right and then what I did was I came down from this shootout part I went down like this and brought it all the way to the tip and then I did the same thing on this side. I shot up at an angle, okay, off that short line. And then I brought it down just like this on the outside of that ear, okay? And that's how you make the basic shapes of those bunny ears, okay? All right, now. What I'm going to have you guys do next is you're going to take your big old peep. All right. Nice, clean peep. And you're going to take clean white. And we are going to give these bunny ears the first coat. And that might be the only coat if you can get those to cover the first time. So what I'm doing is I'm covering up the ears. But what I'm also doing is I'm making sure that I remember the original lines of the ears. So the original lines that I drew. Okay? Remember where I started and stopped. So there's one ear. All right? Then I'm going to come in. I'm going to paint the other ear just like this. Boom, bada, boom, bada. Okay, there's the other ear. There we go. And then you're going to come in and you're going to paint in this part. So yes, it's all white, but you, I want you to remember where we went up on that ear. And don't worry, because I remember and I'll show you later. Okay? So those ears are all painted in. Beautiful. Now, this is the cool part, okay? What we're going to do next is you guys are going to grab that big old brush. If you need to, give your kitty a little bit more paint in certain spots. You can do that, okay, if you have a few blank spots. But even more important, you're going to go in... And you're going to give that egg, that entire egg, if your pink didn't cover the first time, you guys are going to give it a second coat, okay? Just like this. Because nobody wants to be able to see through the kitty kitty egg. All right? No albumins. And if you need to reshape it, you can reshape it now just like this. Okay? There we go. And here comes a second coat of that Easter egg. All right. And again, I'm just painting it in with a beautiful Kool-Aid smile. Look at that. Yeah. Up and down, just like a Kool-Aid smile. Here we go. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. So there's my second coat on my egg. And my ears and my head and my kitty. 
All right? Now, if you need to come in and give a second coat on these things back here, look at these little guys back here, you can do that. Look at that. We're going to go in. We'll give them a second coat. Nice, huh? All right, just like that. Beautiful. There you go. Okay. Now, once you guys get all of your coats on there, okay? Hello, MJ and Chip. I can't wait for you. I can't wait for you to see me later. I'll be at the church while you're watching this spot. <laughs> okay? Now what you guys are going to do, you're going to come in. We're going to dry this off. No, no, no. I'm going to work you. <laughs> so the next thing that you guys are going to do, if you need to come in and give those ears a second coat, you go right in there. You go for it. Okay? Give them a nice second coat of white because we don't want to see any blue through those ears. All right? So we're going to get them all wet. We're going to fill in his little Easter ears again. Just like this. And don't go crazy. Just give it enough of a second coat so that you can make sure that those ears are filled in. So you don't see any blue through them. All right? Just like that. There we go. Okay. Now, while those ears are still wet, all right? What I am going to have you do is you're going to take that Cadbury egg brush, your medium brush, all right? And on a second plate, because I know mine is pretty full, so I'm going to use a second plate for mixing. You're going to grab a bunch of that clean white, okay, about that much, and you're going to grab just a tiny tiny bit of black because black is naughty and it loves to travel so we're gonna grab about that much can you guys see that just a little dollop and we're gonna add that to our white all right and you guys are gonna make a nice light gray color okay just like this can you see that nice light gray color all right and what I'm going to have you do with that gray, eh, maybe I'll make it a little darker. Just because I'm feeling like it. It'll make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. Okay? So I've got my beautiful thing right here. I got my, uh, my uh, yeah, my Cadbury egg. Thanks, Easter Buddy. Okay? There's that. While this white is still wet, what I'm going to have you do, okay, remember now, there's an imaginary line that went up like this on both ears, okay? I'm going to do it in gray. So you guys remember that that line is coming in in black later. All right? I'm going to grab some of my gray and maybe make it a little darker so you guys can really see it. Okay? And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to pull, watch us. Make that noise, it'll come out better. Okay, I'm gonna pull a tiny little shadow right there on that side of that little line. 
And all I'm doing when I do this shadow, okay, is I'm taking my brush with that gray on it and I'm going, all right, and you think I'm crazy when I say make the noise, but see that? Ooh, I got a little on my head. No worries, right? Because what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to fix it later. Now, if you went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs on the gray, like I did on this side, all you got to do, put some white on that brush, wipe it off on your paper towel, put some white on the brush, and watch this. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Oh, goodness. It's that easy. Okay? Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Boom. How you like that? How beautiful is that? Okay, we're gonna lighten her up a little. And then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of black and I'm gonna go over this little spot that I went crazy on. Whoops, there's too much white on my brush. Here we go, look at that. Boom, woo, look at that. Easy fixing. All right, now what you're gonna do, now my gray, you know, like everything that happens in this world, my gray is a little dry. So I'm gonna grab some paint water, loosen her up. Okay, why? Cause I can, because this is acrylic paint. You can always loosen it up with a little bit of water. All right. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this gray and here we go. We're gonna highlight these little Easter ears. So what I mean is you're gonna take that gray and you're gonna go all the way down the inside of that ear, just like that. Now I exaggerated my gray a little bit so you could see what I was doing. So I'm just gonna put a little white on this, okay? But all I'm doing is I'm working a little bit of that gray on the inside of my bunny ear. Can you see that? Just like that. And if you need to bring it out a little on top, bring it out. Just like this. Woo. Swoop it out. Swoop it out. Okay. See that? Woo. All right. There's one side. You're going to take a little bit of gray. What I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other. So here we go. I'm going to go up past my imaginary line. I'm gonna work that gray all the way down to the bottom of that ear. Look at that, woo. Highlighting that bunny ear, just like that. Choo, 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 choo. Okay, look at that. Nice. And then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of gray and I'm gonna highlight the outer side of the ear. Just like this, just a little bit. Not much, can you see that? Not much, just like that. All right, maybe we'll put a little highlight in here, right on the top, a little bit of gray up there, just cause we feel like it. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. A Little bit of gray up there, and a little bit of gray down this side. There you go. Don't think about it. Don't get all worried about it. Just gently tap in a little bit of that gray. Can you see that? And can you see how that takes your ears and makes them go, ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> okay, just like that. Beautiful. Will I be able, share, share in the blank, will I be able to do this one later? I don't have time right now. Absolutely, honey, I am early, all right? And with this video and all my videos, okay, sweetie, no matter what I do, immediately after they're finished, I, um, I make it so that you guys have immediate access to them on my Facebook page, which is why I tell everybody to like Artful Nights Maine so you guys can have immediate access to the videos when I'm all finished. And then what I do is I move them from my uh, Facebook page to my YouTube channel. 
which again is Artful Nights Maine. So I'm early today. Of course you can have this later, honey. I should be finishing up around five o'clock and you'll have complete access at five o'clock, okay? You'll be able to rewind and everything. So don't you worry, girl. You'll have it and you'll have it for seven tonight if you want that. Would I do the ears gray different if I made a white kitty or bunny? Would I do it? the ears gray differently if I made a white kitty or bunny um, as long as so if your ears are black okay say you went with black ears you wouldn't change the ears if your cat was white no but if your ears were a different color what you would do honey like if you did black ears you would still use a gray but you would use a deeper gray Okay, if you did brown ears, all right, the kitty doesn't matter. The kitty's going to stay the same, but when, no matter what color it is. But if the ears are a different color, like say you went with brown ears on your bunny, you would make that the uh, highlight, you would make that highlight one hue darker. Okay, so you would take brown, add a tiny bit of black, and you would make that highlight one hue darker. However, if you go with black ears, it's impossible to make black darker. So in order to highlight it, what we're going to do is a dark charcoal gray, or we're going to highlight them that way. Okay, hon? All right, Sue, you got it. Well, thank you, Starsky. <laughs> like I said, I'm the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty celebrating Easter. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so that was number one. That was number one thing that we we're going to do to highlight the bunny. And the thing about Easter Bunny, the Easter Kitty, he's not difficult, but he does have a lot of steps, you know. There's a lot of steps to him to get that detail in, but I'm going to take you through each one. You're going to nail Easter Kitty. Oh, oh. All right, so... The next thing that I am going to have you guys do with your Easter kitty is, okay, we want to make sure that this entire egg is dry. Right here, all this pink is dry. And it should be because we just dried it off, right? And you guys are going to take your Cadbury egg, your medium brush, and you're going to use your clean white. Okay, you're going to use your clean white for this one. And what you're going to do is right in this crack, you are going to put one egg here. And when I say egg, it's because it's egg shaped. All right, that's egg paw number one. All right, there we go. Egg paw number one, just like that. There's one, and then you're going to add his second paw right in here, okay? And there's paw number two. There we go. And it looks like I said, it's shaped just like an egg. How exciting. <laughs> Okay, and unlike me, you want to make sure that those paws are about the same size. So sometimes when I have the painting facing the camera, I'm not actually looking at it. All right, so there we go. I'm going to fill in one paw. And then I'm going to fill in the other paw. Okay. There we go. There's number two. All right. Now, while those paws are still wet, what I'm going to have you guys do is take some of that gray that we used for the highlighting of the kitty's ears, and you're going to come in, and you're going to bring it around the bottom of those kitty paws, okay? So around the side and around the bottom. Can you guys see that? Especially around the bottom. 
We're gonna highlight those paws just like that. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna grab a little bit more gray on my brush. All right, make sure I put it especially on that bottom. That's where you want that darkest gray, right down here. Okay, and if you need to make a bit of a darker gray, add a tiny bit more black to your gray. Oop, there's number two. See that? Whoops. Oh, we might have got a little overzealous over there. That's all right, though. Okay, can you see that? Oh, yeah, we got a little overzealous. Let me, let me clean it up for you. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, see that? And then we're going to add a little bit more of that white gray up along here, up along the top of these paws. If you get too dark, all you got to do, wipe off your brush, grab some white, and there you go. Blend her in, just like that. How beautiful is that? Look at them kitty paw paws. Yes, sir. He's the cat. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Now, what I am going to have you guys do next, okay, is we are going to grab some white on our... Yeah, I guess we'll use this brush. And again, we're grabbing our clean white, okay? So this is clean white on this brush. You are going to find the center point of your kitty's head, okay? And you're going to start with just a line right in the center. Okay, just like this. Roop, 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 roop. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so just a line, and basically you're just gonna fatten up that line. Okay. And then we'll grab our little brush, just to make this easier for you guys. So we're gonna grab our little teetsy fly. We're gonna call this guy we're going to call this guy, hmm, Fier Rocher. <laughs> Fier Rocher. Those are my baby's favorite Easter eggs right there. This is got expensive taste. Okay. Fier Rocher. All right. And you guys are going to come down on either side. Watch this. You're going to go whoop. And it's almost like you are making a heart upside down, okay? Boop. Now, <laughs> I just had the thought that I'm not going to say out loud, okay? <laughs> Look at that. There you go, guys. It looks like an upside down heart, okay? Just like that. <laughs> I'm not going to say what else it looks like. Okay. <laughs> and you guys are going to go just like this. All right. There. Just like that. Oh, look at that. He's the kid. He coming together. Okay. And maybe we'll do his little mouth a little bigger. Just because I want to. All right. <laughs> Nicole, what did you do? All right. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do is you're going to remember where these lines are. Take your medium brush and you buggers are going to fill in this entire uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but we're going to fill her in. Okay. <laughs> fill that all in, just like this. And remember where those lines are, okay? There we go. 
just like that. Okay. There you go, Easter Kitty. Oh, you're starting to look like a kitty now, aren't ya? Okay, can you guys see that? Beautiful. Yes, ya. <laughs> All right. Next thing I'm going to have you guys do. Jeez, Nicole, you're working us harder than ever. I know I am. I'm working you hard today. Okay, is I'm going to have you take your little fear Rocher, grab some nice clean white, and you guys are going to come around. Whoop. White line here. White line here. All right, all the way across, just like that. And we're going to put a circle here. And actually, you know what I'm going to have you do with this circle? I'm going to have you paint that circle with your gray that you made. If your gray dry not, make a little more. Okay. So we're going to grab a little bit of that gray. We're going to paint in this circle just like this with our gray paint. I'm going to add a little bit darker. I'm going to make my gray a little darker so I can see it. Okay, look at that. There we go. I'm going to paint in that circle gray just like this. And then I'm going to make a bow. Well, I'm going to hold off on that. Okay, we'll go there for now. All right, so just a gray circle. And then what I'm going to have you guys do is you're going to take that gray, you're going to outline the outside of that nose. Okay, can you guys see that? So you're going to outline the outside of that white on the end of his nose, just like this. We're going to outline that whole thing with gray, just like that. And then we're going to put a little gray on his chinny chin chin, just like this. Okay. We're going to come up with our gray and we're going to make a line right here. And hello, Michaela Grosso. How you do, honey? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to go like this, boom, and boom. Okay, so we're going to make that little triangle for that little bugger's nose. Can you see that? I went a little cray-cray with that triangle, so one side of his nose got the snossage. But that's okay, because when I go to paint it in with my pink, I'm going to cover up that snossage. Okay? <laughs> Oh, there we go. All right. All right. Now, the last thing. Well, is this the last thing? Oh, no, no. I, I was kidding when I said it's the last thing. No. Um, I'm going to have you guys on your paint plate, okay? You are going to take a tiny bit of... Uh, no, a tiny bit of black, and you're going to add that to your green, okay? We're going to make a nice dark army green, but just one scoop. What you want is you want your green to be one hue darker 
than the green that you have that you did your grass with. All right, so he is this little guy. So we're gonna add a little black to that, black, black attack. I'm gonna wash off my little brush, just like this. And what I'm gonna do next is, actually I fib to ya, I am going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to add that to half of my pink. Okay? So I'm going to take a little white and I'm going to add that to half of my pink. So I am going to make a pink that is two hues lighter than the pink that I use to do my egg. Okay? So there we go. Can you guys see that? Ooh, I know you can. Okay. Making a bubblegum pink. <laughs> and what I'm going to do with that pink is I am going to take my little brush, my little, uh, what do you call this guy? I can't remember. But, and we're going to go across our egg just like this. A nice little fun Easter pattern, right? I know. And then you guys are going to add a little more. You're going to fatten her up. Okay, keep riding that wave with your surfboard. With your little brushy. There we go. Ooh, baby. All right, we're going to add a little more even. Why? Because we can. All right. There we go. Look at that. So we got about a, yeah, I'd say that little bugger's about a half inch. Why not? Nice thicky Ricky going across that egg. Okay. And then you're gonna take that same pink that you just made, you're gonna go up right up here where you made that triangle and you're gonna paint in that kitty nose on the inside of the gray. You know, you remember where I told you I made that big old snossage? Well, we fixed her up. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. All right. There's that kitty nose. Now it looks to me like I got some white spots here that I want to fill in. So I'm going to grab my nice soft medium brush, grab a little bit of clean white, and I'm just going to fill in these little kitty spots. Okay. Yeah, so make sure that they're nice and covered. Yeah, maybe down here. Maybe down his main line. Here we go. Yeah, you go, my mouth. Now you better. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. You're gonna take that medium brush that you guys have. We're going to take our Cadbury egg, grab that pink, the lighter pink that you just made, okay? And what you guys are going to do is you're going to come along the edge and you're going to paint that light pink all along the edge of your Easter egg. Now, am I having you guys do a wicked amount of detail today? Yes, I am. You know why? Because it's Easter. So we want this guy coming. Okay? So you're going to take it. You're going to go about a full brush stroke along that edge, just like this. All right. See that? 
all the way along the edge. Okay. Going to do the same up here. Whoop. Whoop. You're going to go all the way around the rosy here. So we're going to go whoop. Look at that. You see that? Okay. And now you're going to do the same on the other side. Just like this. There you go. All right. And now, the last step that I'm going to have you little whippersnappers do before halftime, because I know I worked you hard, is I'm going to have you take this brush. All right. Well, I'm going to have you do two things. Because I'm working you. Okay. You're going to take this brush, your little guy, your little, uh, what are we calling him again? Oh, Fierro Shea. We're going to take that little guy, and I'm going to have you guys dip it in white, okay? Fieri, Fieri Rocheri. And you're going to carve out, look at this, little white dots. There's one. All right, make sure you got some clean white. And here's two right down here, right in the middle. There's two. Okay. Here's three. Because we got to decorate those eggs, right? This kid is sitting in a nice cool egg. There's three. And we'll go four down here. Put this little guy right there. Do, 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 do. Because he's going to come a cop in the town. And then maybe we'll do a half circle right over here. Okay. Keeping it going with that pattern. Look at that. Yes, sir. Easter kitty, Easter kitty. <laughs> All right, now, last thing, okay, I promise you, this is the last thing you can go relax your hand in a bit. All right, is I'm going to have you guys take a little bit of black on your Fierro Cher, okay, a little bit of black, just like that. And what you're going to do is... You're going to come around. We're going to do the outer edge of here. Okay? See that? Whoops. There you go. An outer edge with a tiny bit of black. We're going to take some black. We're going to bring it around here a little bit. See that? We're going to carve around the outside of this egg just like this. All the way around town, all the way down. See that? Okay, don't worry about doing a perfect line. Perfectly imperfect works just as fine. Same thing over here. We're going to go underneath that egg. Look at that. All right. And then we're going to go over here, whoop, right on the back. And then we're going to add this little divide through here. Woo, there, see that? Beautiful. All right. There you go. And last thing you're going to do, before halftime, I know I told you, but you know me. I'm working you hard today. We're going to go around the paw with black. Okay, trace around this paw just like this. There's one paw. We're going to go around this paw like this. There's two paws. Get the paw paw. 
okay? Now, once you get those paws done, you have successfully made it to halftime. Now, normally, I'm pretty good to you. I give you about four minutes, but today, I'm going to give you three minutes. Yeah, yeah, three minutes, okay? So you guys can go make your bladder gladder if you need to. Grab a Scooby snack, stretch your bones, and I will see you all. You will see my face in about three minutes. Okay, guys? Mwah! All right. Okay, you guys. All right, let me see. Oh, hello, Cynthia. Thank you, lovey. You are great. Okay, let's see if I can do that. All right, there we go. I just posted my tip link. So if you guys are having a fabulous time, you want to leave me a tip, wonderful. If you don't have it, you don't have to leave me a tip. Okay, it is okay. It's all right, because guess what? It's more important that you take care of your family right now, huh? All right, so, um, halftime means it's time for me to show you what we're painting next week. Now, hi, Patricia Poisson. How you doing, love bug? Uh, next week, what we're going to be painting is this beautiful painting. It's called Sailing Away. Look at that. Oh, we're going to point our ship towards that beautiful sunlight. And 
and we are going to sail far, far away. Isn't that beautiful? I know, I know it is. Okay, so that's going to be next week. Now, unfortunate, thank you, Erin. Unfortunately, what I usually I do these shows on Sunday night. Tonight was a special. Today was a special day because um, tomorrow's Easter, and you're spending time with your family. And so I didn't do it tomorrow night. I did tonight was a special night. Well, next week, next Sunday night, I have a family that I am teaching a private Zoom show. You're going to run out of walls. That's okay, Sue. No, no. I know people that have a whole room dedicated to their artwork. Girl, don't you worry. Don't you worry. You keep adding and you be proud. And what you'll realize, honey, is that what I do is I, I, uh, I paint with the seasons. Okay? So, like today's your Easter Bunny. Last week was your Easter Bunny. Well, what you're going to do is when we move to next season, you're going to put these guys in the closet and then, <laughs> thank you, honey, and then you're going to add some new stuff for spring and summer. And then in the fall, we're going to do a fall collection. And in the winter, we're going to do a winter collection. You're going to, go to change those out, Sue, so don't you worry, honey bunny. Um, but, uh, yes, one thing I love, one thing that's super important to me is, you know, I started doing this during COVID, ah, and um, I love when you send me your artwork, okay? And what I did for you guys last week, which I was so proud of because I'm a technological turd, right? I Technology and I, I repel technology. But I created a Facebook group. For you guys to go on. So not only could you share. They do make great gifts. Not only can you share your um, uh, paintings with me. Right? And you can continue to do that. You can email them to me at artfulnightsmain.com. Or you guys can message them to me to my Artful Nights main page. And I'm always going to post them. But I created a special group for you guys on my Facebook page. So if you go to Artful Nights Main, you go to the top of the page, there's going to be three links. One of them says group, one of them says events, one of them says services, and I think one of them says review. So you'll see those four in a line. Hit the group link and then click join the group. It's set up so you could automatically join it and you guys can share your art with each other. In addition to me. Okay, guys? So make sure that uh, you join that group. So that that way, I mean, I love being the point person. But I also love for you guys to be able to share with one another. Okay? So if you haven't joined the Artful Nights Main, it's called Artful Nights Main Artist, I think. Silly Nicole's Offer Nights Main Artist. So you guys can share your artwork with one another. All right? So there's that. And so this one, again, next Sunday, I have a class on Sunday night. So this one is either going to be Monday or I'm thinking, why can't I just do this earlier on Sunday? So you guys can still have it Sunday night like I did today. So I might do that. So you don't have to wait until Monday night. Okay? So don't you worry about that because we're going to give you that little sailing boat. And I know this is the best way to start your work week with a little art therapy. Okay, you guys? So, yeah. <laughs> and if I'm forgetting anything, you can remind me. All right? Okay. All right. So, here we go. This is where we're going to bring this Easter kitty together. Okay? So, we've got the basic shell. And this is where this guy is going to come to life. Let me tell you what. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? So, the first thing that I'm going to have you guys do is you are going to grab your medium brush, okay? Grab that medium brush and your little Cadbury egg, and you're going to squeeze it out just like this. Oh, squeeze it, squeeze it. Okay, so he's nice and flat. Can you guys see that? Do you see how flat he is this way? All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put our first layer of grass in the back, all right? And how we do that, we're going to start at the bottom of our canvas and go, boom, bah, 
poopa. All right, save the word poopa and it will come out better. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna have you grab that army green that I made you make earlier. All right, and we're gonna start in the back. Okay, right at the bottom and watch this, poopa. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby. And then we're gonna keep on going, poopa. You guys are gonna add a bunch of that grass. Ooh wee, baby. We're gonna start at the bottom. We're gonna bring it all the way across. And this is gonna be your first layer of grass. Okay, I'm gonna have you start in the middle for some of these guys. All right, because this is a field of grass, we're gonna bring it up in the back, look. And these blades of grass look just like your little eyebrows. Okay, so think about when you're mascaring your eyebrows. Okay, make sure you crisscross applesauce because that's what happens in the real world when the wind blows. Those grasses cross each other, look. We're gonna bring some of them in front of our little Easter egg like that. Boom, boom, look at that. That's right, I like my grass. Ooh, I love my grass. I'm not afraid of grass, you know why? Because I'm a good grass maker. Okay, you're gonna start some of them from the bottom of your canvas, but unlike our other paintings, because this Easter egg is set back, we're gonna start some of these grasses right about there, right in the middle. Okay, there we go, look at that. Boom chakalaka. Okay, look, woo, woo, oh yeah. We swoop it in that grass, poopa, poopa, poopa. Underlay, underlay, poopa. Okay, look at that. All right, and when you have about that much grass, the one thing I love about this green and purple, I mean a uh, pink combination, is how much that green and that pink pop together. I tell you what, that turns my crank. I love that. All right, so see that? There we go, there's our first layer of grass. All right, then you're just gonna need about that much. Not much more, okay? Can you guys see that? Beautiful, yes sir. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you guys make a nice light, if you don't have any gray left, you're gonna make a nice gray, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a little dark, that's all right, all right? Just a little white and um, white and black mixed together with a little brush, just like this, la 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 la, okay? <laughs> what color is that grass, okay? So that grass, remember how I told you we used the just plain green for that blanket of grass when we first started? Well, that grass is a little bit darker. What you're going to do, hon, is you're going to add a tiny bit of black to that just plain green. And when I said tiny, I mean tiny, tiny little scoop. And you're going to make like a darker army green. So your grass is going to be one hue darker than the original green that you put in the back. Okay, Joyce? All right, girl. And then, can you see? So you can see that contrast, how I took just the same color green, but I added a little black to it. <laughs> I wish you did too, Erin. You can also, honey, you don't have to have a canvas, you know. You can paint on anything. You can paint on um, some thick paper if you have watercolor paper. Heck, you can even paint on cardboard. Just take your um, cardboard, if you're going to do it on cardboard, put a white layer of paint on it to seal it. Girl, you create art wherever you want to. Paint on your wall. <laughs> that's what I used to do my mama didn't like it but you know what that's okay it's your world okay paint on a box paint on you know paint on a bag you know those bags that we use uh you know not not the not the plastic ones but the grocery bags that are paper paint on that 
paint on a gift bag, a white gift bag. You know, the possibilities are endless. Take a box that you're going to give as a gift. You know, those boxes that you put shirts in for um, Christmas. Paint on that, girl. <laughs> it's your world. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is I am, I just made that gray. Okay. And what I am going to do with that gray is I'm going to come inside this Easter egg where it's all blue and I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint that in gray on both sides. All right. Can you see that? So no longer is that blue on the inside. Pizza box, girl! Decorate your pizza box and then put your Easter stuff inside. That's right. That is right. There is no po endless possibilities when we create. Okay. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint in this side of the egg. All right. See that? All right. Yeah, I might add a little bit more black. Maybe make it a little darker. Okay, there we go. There's that. And then I'm gonna come in here and there we go. I want mine just a little darker. I want a little bit more contrast. Okay, so there we go. Inside both the outer edges of that egg. Look at that. Good, good, good. Now, what we're going to do next is you guys are going to take this. Hold on for one sec. You're going to take this little brush, this little itty bitty right here. And you're going to put a tiny bit of black on the end, okay? Because what kind of Easter kitty is not fuzzy? We're going to fuzz him up, all right? So you put a tiny bit of black on the edge. And the first thing I'm going to have you guys do, watch this. Bloom, 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 bloom. We're going to fuzz him up. Fuzz up that kitty. Look at this. And all I'm doing is just like I'm putting on my mascara. Okay, I'm fuzzing up his little cheek. There we go. Look at that. Here's his first cheek. Okay. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to fuzz up his little kitty shoulder. Look at that. Ooh, give him a little fuzz there. And it's okay if you get a little gray in it. That's all right. Adds to the fuzzy effect. So we're going to fuzz up his shoulder. We're going to go what we do on one side, we're going to do on the other. So you guys are going to go over here, and you're going to fuzz up his other shoulder. Woo! Do -do -do. Ooh, ooh, do -do -do. Fuzzing up my kitty. <laughs> Now my kid is pretty. <laughs> okay. Now I fuzzed up his other shoulder. Look at that. Oh, that kitty look like he's about ready to attack. So I'm going to calm it down a little. Okay. But all you're doing is you're taking that brush and you're adding some fun little fur on the side of your kitty. Okay, there we go. And now we're gonna go in, we're gonna get his other cheek. Give that some fuzz. There, look at that meow meow. Ooh, now that kid is having fun, isn't he? He has, whoa, I'm a fuzzy cat. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. I'll show you guys. We're going to do the same thing all along the edges of his ears, okay? All right, we're going to add a tiny bit of fuzz all along the edge of those ears. 
Okay? So, first thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you come in. Remember how I told you that imaginary line? Well, we're going to bring it back. See that? Bring it back with the black. Okay? Go bring it back on this side, just like that. And then you guys are going to take that brush and you're just pulling it down, just like this. Add in a little bit of fuzz all the way down that ear. Okay? You're not thinking, you're not overthinking it. You're using a very, very, very gentle touch. Okay? Otherwise, you're going to get thick fuzz. Nobody likes thick fuzz. I know I don't. Mm -mm. Okay? <laughs> so nice, gentle touches. Bringing that old fuzzer down. All the way down his ears. Look at that. Okay? Whoop. There. There's that side. All right, now I'm going to start on the top of his head. Now these fuzzies are going to go up like this. Can you see those? Oh, yeah. That's some nice fuzz. <laughs> there we go. Fuzzy was it was a kitty. Okay. We're going to go down this side. We're going to do the same thing on the ear on this side. And all I'm doing, look, I'm swooping down inside that ear. See that? Okay. Bringing her downtown. Going all the way down. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. As you get to the end, that fuzz is going to get a little smaller. See that fuzzy was it? Yes, you do see that fuzzy wuzzy. All right, now we're going to go up here. We're going to fuzz up the top of this ear. Okay, just like that. We're going to fuzz up the other top, just like this. Fuzz, because fuzzy wuzzy was a kitty. <laughs> He's tricking them. He's saying, am I a kitty or am I a kitty? Kitty rabbit. All right, and now we're gonna go bring that fuzz all the way down the outer edge of that ear. And you can make it as fuzzy wuzzy and exciting as you want it to be. Okay, doop, doop, doop. There you go. All right, bring in that little fuzzy hair. Have fun with fuzzy. You know, we gotta pluck the fuzzy. Have fun with the fuzzy. <laughs> he is a wisdom. <laughs> I killed myself. All right. So there we go. We're bringing it all the way down the outside. There. There we go. Now that's a fuzzy ear if I ever saw one. Okay. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to do the same thing over here, the other ear. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay, make those noises. It comes out better if you do. Do, do, do. Ooh, fuzzy. Ooh, that's a big hair. That's a big fuzzy eyebrow. Okay, all the way down until we get to the edges. Then we'll go just do teeny weeny fuzzies. And there you go. Now you got fuzzy wuzzy ears. <laughs> I have to say, I love this guy. He's so goofy. Okay? Not very often we get to paint the goofy, but I love it when we do. All right. Now, when you guys are all done fuzzing up his ears, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to take... A little bit of, let's see, we'll take a little bit of light blue, a tiny bit of light blue and a tiny bit of black. So we're going to make a grayish black blue, just a tiny bit this much. Look at that. See this? Not very much at all right there. Light blue with a tiny bit of black in it. Make it a little grayish. Okay, just give it a little something, something. All right, and you're going to take this 
and inside those dots, okay, the dots on the Easter egg, you're going to go shoop, 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 shoop. Not the whole dot, just a little bit on the inside, okay? So you're kind of covering up about half the side, just like that. Okay, because what we're going to try to do is we're going to make these dots pop. All right, so just a little bit of that shading on one side of them. Look at that. Okay. Here we go. We're going to add a little bit to this one. Oh, yeah. We're going to make that little, that little pearl pop. Okay. And then a little bit over here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, see that? There we go. Not much. We're not doing, you know, it's not, it's not a big crazy process. We're just adding a little something, something. Then you're going to take your little doodle, add a little bit of black on the tip. And on the same side of that, you're going to take a little bit of black and go, ooh. See that? And a little bit of black and you're going to go whoo, like that. Okay, just a little bit on the same side that we added that blue on. Okay, and what this does is this gives those little dots some depth and dimension. So therefore, they pop right off your page. Look at that. Ooh, now them dots be popping. Can you guys see that? Isn't that cool? I love art. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why, thank you, Diane. You're clever, baby. <laughs> thank you, honey. Okay, and can you see how that brings out those dots? Just a little bit. All right? Now... What I'm going to have you guys do next, okay, is we are going to, do you remember how we made this light pink, okay? We made that light pink. Well, now what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit more white and you're going to lighten up that pink one more hue, okay? So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we already made a nice light pink before when we did that stripe across. Well, look at this. Now we've lightened it up even more. And if it's starting to dry on you, what you guys are going to do is you're going to take a little bit of that paint water and loosen it up. Okay? Because mine is getting a little dry. So we're making a pink that is two hues lighter than our original. Okay? See right there? Nice light pink. All right. Now, you're going to take that pink on your little brush. And, like I said, make sure it's nice and loose because that will make it spread better. And what you're going to do is right in the center of this um, wave, you guys are going to work in a little bit of that white light pink, okay? Okay. Can you see that? So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so right in the center, you guys are gonna work in some of that light pink. And when I say work in, all I mean is gently brush her in. Okay, don't think about it. Don't torture yourself. Don't try to make it too pretty because this is light. And light is never perfect. Okay, can you guys see that? Beautiful, okay. Now we're gonna take that same light pink and you guys are gonna have it come on the top edge right around here, all right, of your egg. So there you go, can you guys see that? The top edge of that crack right in your egg, look at that. Okay, add some there. We're going to add a little over here. Boom, look at that. Woo! Some right there. And again, this is light, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay? But it is going to go right to the edge of that crack. 
Okay, so make sure that you put it right on the edge of your black. See that? Beautiful. Okay, same over here. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Nice, huh? Okay, same over here. There we go. And we'll add a little on this edge right here. And then we're going to add a little bit over here. Right on this edge. Right at the outer edge. Right below that black line. Okay? Look at that. Now what that does is that causes the top of your egg to come out at you. Okay? Look at that. Ooh, I love that. I just love that. It just gets me so excited. Okay? Eye popping pearls. You got it, girl. All right. Now, what I'm going to have you do with that light pink is you're going to bring it right up here, right across that kitty's nose. Okay? Right on the top edge. See that? All right. Now that kitty's nose is popping. Beautiful. Okay. Now, what do we have to do? Well, we got to bring in those kitty eyes, right? Because kitty can't see right now, kitty. <laughs> now, this is going to be a little wanky, but we're going to get her done. So, what you are going to do is I am going to have you and the only reason I'm having you do this is because your eyes will come out better. But we're going to paint black on black. What? Yes, black on black. Okay? And what you're going to do is right up here in these eyes, you're going to paint a black circle. Okay? Just like this. Can you see that black circle? And then on the other side, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to paint a black circle. So both of those circles, okay, are about the size of a nickel. All right? And make sure that those eyes match. Okay? Can you guys see that? So you've got it there and you've got it there. All right. Princess Ann Smith, check this out. I'm painting this later tonight. Cool! <laughs> okay. Now, before that dries, I'm going to have you wash off your brush. Oh, my mom just sent me a message. Here's her new tile. Well, we'll look at that later, Mom. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> okay. So we've got our little brush, okay? Now, what I'm going to have you do is you can take your light green, you can take yellow, you can take light blue, whatever color eyes you want your cat to have, all right? And what you're going to do is you're going to carve around this black circle and you're going to come down just like this with a big old smile, okay? All right, Mom, you sent your tile three times, okay? <laughs> My mom is persistent. <laughs> okay, right? So here's one side, and what you do on one side, you've got to do to the other. All right, so you carve around the, black, the uh, outside of that black circle, and here we go. We're going to put that green just like this. I'm doing green. You can do whatever color floats your boat. All right? And you're like, Nicole, what have we done to this kitty? Trust the process. All right. Now you're going to fill that in, that green in. Okay? Fill it right in just like this. Boom, bada, boom, bada. Fill in the other side, just like this. That's all right, I'm saying it to you. 
okay? And what I'm going to have you guys do is, if that is not covering 100%, right, all you're going to do is you're going to come in, Give them a second coat. Okay? Just to make sure that we get all the coverage we need on the outside of those eyes. All right? Ooh, yes, kitty kitty. There's that. And there's that. Okay? Now, my eyes still look kind of funky, don't they? And I bet yours do too. So... What I'm going to do, again, sometimes I do these things so that I can show you how to get what you need, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some black, and I'm going to come in. I'm going to reshape this guy, because black covers everything, All right? He was getting a little darn weepy, wasn't he? Ooh, okay, so we're going to reshape him, reshape the other side. Doing the same thing so those eyes match each other. Okay. We go match our eyeballs. We gotta have them eyeballs match. There we go. Add a little more green over there. Okay. So there's that. And then, if you need to, you can come in with some more black. And you can shape those eyeballs again. Look at this. So we know exactly where those kitty eyes are. Because he's got the same eyes as the kitty Puss in Boots. You remember Puss in Boots? Okay. So we'll bring in that part of the eye. Do the same thing on the other part of the eye. So that we got those nice, big, round, needy eyes. Okay. There we go. Just like that. All right. Then you're going to dry them off again so we can put the dots in. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Okay, now what you guys are going to do to finish up those eyes is you're going to take your brush and you're going to turn it around, okay? We're not using the brush part, we're using the end part, this part right here. And if you don't do this right, your kitty's going to look like this. <laughs> so you don't want that, okay? <laughs> you're going to dip that end in your white, okay? Not the brush part, but the end part. All right, and right here, okay, you're going to go broop and broop. Okay, there's one part, all right. Oh, my kitty's almost cross-eyed. <laughs> okay, that's one part of the eye. And then you guys are going to take a little bit of white on your brush, okay? And right above that eye, you're going to go whoop. Can you see that line? Okay. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Whoop. Okay. And look, we have kitty eyes. I think me my mine might be a little cross-eyed and I'm okay with it. <laughs> but 
But if you're... <laughs> That's a rat. <laughs> Nothing in this life is perfect, just like me. <laughs> Ooh, cross-eyed kitty. Okay? <laughs> but if you're a come out cross-eyed and you don't like it, all you have to do is just paint black over it and try again. Okay? Yes, sir. Ray. Everyone's kitty bunny will look different. You are so correct, Anne Dumont. And that's what makes art such a beautiful thing. I have been teaching these classes to live audiences for seven years. And every class I teach, uh, not online, well, even online when you guys send me your pictures, but everybody's picture comes out different because we all sign our name different. It's part of the human nature. And the better and the more different you are, then you know what I'm saying? That's what we love. Okay? So that's beauty. All right. So we've got that part. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next, we're almost at the finish line, is, remember how I told you I had two color greens? Okay. So if you guys don't have two color greens, see this, this is, I call this my horny green. What you're going to do is you're going to take your commercial green, whatever green that you had that you used on the background first, okay? It's so like the first layer. And you're going to take that and you're going to mix it with yellow, okay? So you're going to take that original green, you're going to mix it with yellow till you get a nice, light, fun green, okay? You can add a little white in there too. All right. Hi, Cindy Bailey. Heck yeah, Suzanne. Okay. So you take your commercial green, add a little yellow, add a little white, and you're going to create a nice, fine, fun, light green. Okay. Then you're going to grab your medium brush. And I think you guys, I've been talking too much. I know that's pretty shocking, but it sounds like I got a froggy in my throat. Maybe. <laughs> okay, and what you guys are going to do next is you're going to take this light green, and here we go. Woo, look at that. You're going to add that to the spaces on your canvas that are not, you know what, you're going to look for the cracks, and we're going to add in this beautiful light green color. Make sure you start from the bottom, too or else you're gonna have floating grass and that looks a little funny. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of that grass down here, add some up here, and this is gonna be the front layer of grass. So this is gonna give it just a little something extra, okay? Whoop, there we go. Boom, bada, boom, bada. All right, there's that, and there we go. Look at that. Boom. There. There's that. Okay, there's that front layer. There. Now we've got two layers of grass that are making this nice and eastery. Right? Can you guys see that? Okay. There's that. There we go. Woo! Woo, baby! Okay? There. Look at that, you guys. Yes, sir. Now, last thing I'm going to have you do. Okay, well, actually, not the last thing. But we're going to finish up the details on the top. And then i got to bid you guys adieu because I'm going to be late for my church, ladies. Okay? Thank you, sweet bug. All right is I'm going to have you take your brush, put a little bit of white on one side and a tiny bit of gray on the other. Okay? So gray and white. We're going to double dip it both colors. All right? And right where we have this nice circle on his chinny chin, we're going to add two loops. So you're going to add one loop like this. Okay? And you're going to add a second loop like this. Now, this is going to be the strings for your Easter cat, right? You got that little cat head on. 
And then you're going to come in and woo -doo 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 -doo. there's one side. And woo -doo 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 -doo. there's the other. Okay. That's your loopy scopes. All right. You guys are going to come in with a darker gray. So I'm going to have you take a little black, mix that in with your other gray. Cheese and crow, there goes my paint plate. All right, so now I've got a nice dark charcoal gray. I'm gonna bring a little bit of that into here, right? Right into the bottom of my thing, just like that. We're highlighting with a little bit of that action. Okay, we're gonna bring a little bit of that around the corner like this. Nice dark charcoal gray. Okay, see that? Gonna add a little bit on the outside of our loopies. See that? So we can highlight those kitty loops. Right? Add a little in there. All right. Add a little bit on the other side. Okay. And now those loopies are sticking out, aren't they? Yes, they are. And then we're gonna come. We're gonna add some white on our brush. Now make sure that white is loose. If it's not, you guys are gonna loosen it up because that's gonna make this step easier. Little bit of white on that tiny brush and we are gonna give Easter Cat one, two, three fun whiskers on that side, okay? And then we're going to give him one, two, three fun whiskers on that side. All right, Easter Kitty. Meow, meow. Now, last thing that we are going to do for this guy, and I am going to do it because it's important. Okay, dry off the grass. Take your uh, small brush. Whiskers time, kitty. <laughs> That's right, Aaron. <laughs> it's whiskers time. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we put whiskers on our kitty just in case he looks like this so he can find his way in the dark. All right, now what I'm gonna have you guys do next, you're gonna take your little brush, okay? You're gonna load it up with white, okay? I mean white, yellow, I'm sorry, yellow, just like this, all right? And in random spots, what you're gonna do is, actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna double dip. So I'm gonna have you guys because yellow is not going to cover because it's a pain in the patootie. So I'm going to have you guys double dip yellow and white. All right, you're going to make a nice pale buttercream yellow on your brush. And watch this. Here we go. There's one. So just like we did those pearls, you guys are going to do the same thing in your grass, but you're going to space them out just like this. Okay, don't overthink it. All right, these are gonna be our little daisies. Okay, I'll have, I'm gonna put one here. And you can put as many of those little daisies as makes your heart happy. I'm gonna put one here. Just space them out so you have enough room for their petals. Okay, we'll put one over here. Boom, bada boom. Okay. And then I'm gonna put one over here. Okay. All right, just like that. 
Then what you guys are going to do, you're going to take your little guy. Take a little bit of that gray on your brush. Mix it in with that yellow so that you have like a yellow. Okay. Say it again. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm running late, but that's okay. All right. So what I'm going to have you do is on one side of that daisy thing, you're going to put a little doo-doo of that gray, that, uh, that ugly poopoo gray color we just made, gray yellow, just like we did with the pearls, okay? So it's not, uh, it's not, you know, see that? Just like that. There you go. That way we can give the centers of the flowers some depth and dimension, just like that. Okay, just like that. Each one of these, you're gonna do the same thing, add a little purple yellow, okay? There you go. And if you need to fill those in, bright yellow, okay? I missed the change in time, catch you on the replay. Okay, Ann Dumont, you got it, sweet bug. All right, see each one of those, has a little bit of that color in it. Then what you're gonna do, gonna take this little guy, gonna put a tiny bit of black on it, okay? And you are not gonna overthink this, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in, watch this, roop and roop, boop. So you're doing an illusion of a stem. You're not making this big crazy stem. Okay, look at that. Whoop, whoop, line, doop, doop. Okay, just like that. All right, very whimsy, very fun, very loose. Whoop, boop, boop. Okay, just like that. See that? Nothing fancy on this guy. Not fancy on these flowers. We work so hard on the cat, we don't want to take away from his brilliance. Huh, see that? All right, each one of these gets the same little boop scoop here. There you go, nothing fancy. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, just a little illusion. All right, and then last step of this Easter kitty. Because, oh, she's late. <laughs> All right. Is you guys are going to take some fresh white. You're going to take your medium brush, your Cadbury egg, right? Hopefully you get some of those for Easter. Nom, nom, nom. All right. And on each one of these little doodops, you guys are going to very, put some white on your brush. Okay, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops. Got the colors mixing. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Oh, you guys didn't realize I could count, did ya? <laughs> so nothing fancy, okay? You're just gonna put a nice free loose daisy here i'm gonna dry this so i don't bl uh burn my color go now those daisies are nice and white look at that yes sir Woo! look at that that's what i'm talking about goodness okay see that nice loose free hand daisies look at this boom chakalaka Woo! Woo! 
Yeah. Okay, you're going around in a circle. You're not thinking. You're not even being rough on yourself. You're going daisy-licious. Look at that, baby. Just like Dr. Seuss would. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Whisk out those daisies. Ooh, baby. That's right. Just like my hair in the morning. Crazy daisy. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Doop, doop, doop. Doop. Okay. All the way around. All the way around town. There we go. Look at that. How fun are those? They're like the perfect addition to Easter Cat. Right? That's cool. Okay. Same up here. Add this guy. Just like that. Okay, look at that. Happy Daisy. Happy Daisy, Daisy. And there we go. There's our last Daisy. Okay, if you guys want to come in when you're all done, grab that nice deep yellow. Bring it in the center of those daisies. Look at that. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that, that nice bright yellow. Bring it in the center of my daisies. Okay, there we go. Woo, look at that. There. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's like five seconds. That's a five second daisy right there. Okay, and look, there we go. All right, and guess what, you guys? Once you get your daisies done, you have this brilliant, beautiful Easter kitty. Meow, meow. Okay, add your famous artist signature on the lower left or right hand corner. Same artist signature you're going to use for the rest of your life, so make sure it's a good one. Okay, I always put mine right here. There we go, NLW, just like that. Flip them over, paint your bottom, paint your friend's bottom if they let you. Okay, you guys have an incredible Easter. I love you guys. You eat double for me, all right? Because, you know, I'm working on the figure. All right, I love you guys. Thank you. I will see you in one week where we're going to do our sailboat, right? We're going to sail away. Don't forget to leave me awesome comments because I read all of them and I love them. And, you guys, um, yeah. Send me your pictures and sign up for my Facebook group, okay? So you can share with each other. Mwah! Bye, everybody. Happy Easter.